It's the 8th of October 2021 and Trials of Cyrus is back for the weekend. Meaning once again, you got a chance to get some great weapons and armour from the weekly PvP event in Destiny 2. Well, Trials is around from Friday until recent on Tuesday, so you've got until then to hunt down the available rewards this weekend. Well, Trials of Osiris is the pinnacle PvP activity in Destiny 2, and every weekend the best players compete in 3v3 elimination for one goal, and that is to go flawless. So first of all, head down to see Saint-14 in the tower, and don't forget to pick up the passage of your choice. Well, for the map this week, it's a really good one. It's Javelin 4, and that is one of the best maps in Trials of Osiris, so enjoy that. And loot is no longer acquired from winning 3, 5, and 7 matches. It's all about winning rounds, not matches, and that helps you rank up at Saint-14 in the tower for that Trials loot. So rank up to earn armor, weapons, and powerful upgrades, plus you get Trials engrams while you're playing Trials. Well, for a flawless victory and a, vi well, for a, flawless victory and a visit to the Lighthouse, that is going to get you an Adept Eye of Soul. Well, next up, let's have a look at the loot for the season. So we've got the Eye of Soul, the Messenger, the Igneous Hammer, Solar Scar, Shearer's Wrath, Reed's Regret, and also the Pyrrhic Ascent Armor. That does mean we don't have weapons like the Summoner or the Astral Horizon Shotgun. They should hopefully be coming back in another season. So once again, win rounds and rank up at Saint-14 in the tower to get even more rewards. So here are the rank up rewards. So at rank 10, you get the Eye of Soul, and at rank 16, you get the Igneous Hammer. And as you rank up and reset your ranks, then you do get other weapons too. But let's have a closer look at the God Rolls to Chase in Season of the Lost. So. First of all, we've got Eye of Soul, that is a kinetic sniper rifle. For PvP, snapshot sights and opening shot would be good. And for PvE, well, I reckon there's better sniper options out there, so I would actually recommend another sniper. Next up, we've got the Messenger, and that one is a legendary kinetic pulse rifle, so for PvP, Rapid Hit and Desperado would be good. And for PvE, Outlaw and Kill Clip, well, that is the one you want to look out for. Next up, we've got the Igneous Hammer, that one is a legendary energy hand cannon. For PvP, Killing Wind and Rampage would be good. And PvE, Outlaw and Rampage, that would be a tasty roll. Next up, we've got Solar Scar, that is a legendary power sword. For PvE, Relentless Strikes and Chain Reaction would be really good. With Chain Reaction, you get those Elemental Damage Explosions. And for PvP, Relentless Strikes and Vorpal Weapon, that would be really good, particularly for stopping Guardians in their super. Well, next, we have Sharer's Wrath. That one is an energy submachine gun. So for PvP, Tunnel Vision and Kill Clip would be good, and PvE heating up and Kill Clip would be a decent roll. So finally this season, we've got the new one, it's Reed's Regret, and that one is a Power Stasis Linear Fusion Rifle, so for PvP, heating up and Adagio would be good, and PvE, Triple Tap and Firing Line, or maybe Vorpal Weapon, that would be a good roll to look out for. Well let me know if you are jumping into Trials of Osiris this weekend, and if you are, well good luck hunting that loot. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching and for more Destiny 2 content like this. Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.